Brian and Janelle Mornings. Professor Sean O'Connor, Assistant Professor of Digital Media at Cedarville University. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Sean. Good morning. How are you guys today? Good. I love the list we're looking at. I know we're all, um, some of us are looking for ideas on movies and things we can watch. And there's one uh, uh, to celebrate this morning. Yeah, I mean, one that I'm excited about, and I wasn't sure if it was still going to be in theaters yeah. this week, but over the weekend, the Chosen mm-hmm. season three premiere with the oh, first yeah. two episodes being shown in theaters came out, oh. made uh, a lot of money, mm-hmm. and is going to continue being in theaters, and people are going to be able to see it in the Cleveland area this weekend still, which is great. That is so exciting. I'd love to see. Th- I'd love to see the headlines on how it surprised people in terms of its success. Right, yeah, and I, I think it may have placed number three at the box office this weekend because people are still seeing Black wow. Panther 2 yeah. mm-hmm. and uh, some of the, the bigger films. But um, it's, I mean, I think when families, especially Christian families, go to see an event like a movie or an event like this with The yeah. Chosen, um, people take notice and they mm-hmm. say, oh, there's a market for that and we can make more content like that. And hopefully that's that spurs on more films that Christian families can see together mm-hmm. that yeah. glorify God. And so that it has that happened before where it's not a full movie but it's like episodes of a series at a theater? It that is a rare thing. I think it happens with with maybe like hit TV shows, okay. but really last year when the chosen did the big like Christmas special, did you guys see that in theaters? They did like a they mm-hmm. they released their Christmas episode in theaters alongside like a series of music videos about, about Christmas and Matt Marr and a bunch of other um, Christian artists uh, were part of that. Phil Wickham, and that was also you know a big hit. And so it's it's kind of a, it's a weird it's it's a strange way to you know release you know TV in the theaters. Yeah. And, that's uh, a lot of people say. Well, it's not worth it because you know who's who wants to see who wants to pay extra money to see a TV show on the on the big screen. Yeah, but yeah. there's there's a huge audience for this show, which is awesome. And we got to make sure we support it because, like you said, they're taking notice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. You mentioned right. Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. How is that one doing? And would you recommend it for families? <laughs> Yeah, my wife and I saw that a couple weekends ago, and it's it's making a bunch of money, as a lot of people anticipated that it would. And yeah. I don't know if you're a fan of the first Black Panther. I yes. love the first Black oh, Panther. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I think with just because the Marvel movies have been around for a while, and I personally and a lot of other people, I think we're, we're starting to see the patterns, and they're not as innovative and new to us anymore and even with black panther 2 i mean there's a lot of really good stuff in it and it's the way that they deal with the actor chadwick boseman who played back black panther who yeah. passed away a couple years ago yeah. um you know it's there's there are really emotional moments that i think make it worth seeing yeah. but you know it's it's a little lacking in terms of coherence and story and those kinds of things compared to the first movie anyway what- so I encourage you to go see it, but it's it's not as good, I would say. And you did have a disclaimer here, just it, and it shouldn't surprise people, as it's a Disney release uh-huh. in terms of families watching it. Right, yeah. So as as usual, this is not the first time this has happened, even this year. But at the near the end of the film, there's like a same sex couple kissing. That uh, you know, it's like a it's one of those moments that's like five seconds that feels obligatory in a Disney movie nowadays. Unfortunately, yeah, right. That yeah. Uh, you know would be the only objectionable thing really that's in the film. Yeah. But it, I mean, it does also uh, highlight you know sort of you know what you could call agendas and things like that that Disney and other companies have been doing. Yeah. They do have another totally different movie coming out tomorrow or tonight, technically, called Strange World. It's their latest animated movie. Okay. And it's it's an animated, like, action-adventure, sci-fi kind of original film about a family of explorers on this different planet or something. And I was looking up information about it because I was at first, you know, interested in seeing what it was going to be like. Mm-hmm. And there are a lot of articles praising the film, mostly because it's the first Disney animated film with an openly gay protagonist. Oh, wow. Which and- I was not aware of until I started reading these articles, but I think, that I wondered if families would want to be aware of that no yeah that's in strange world is specifically targeted for children it's a it's like a cartoon yes yeah yep 
PG animated Disney film, just like Encanto and all these films. Yeah. I'm I'm wondering how the film's going to do because probably a lot of kids nowadays are used to Disney Plus being the home to yeah. Disney movies. Yeah. So to go see it in a theater is like, well, wait, why am I paying extra money and going somewhere <laughs> where I could when I could just watch this thing at home for real? So we'll see how it does. Professor Sean O'Connor, he's with Cedarville University, always comes in to chat with us from a Christian perspective. Movies that are out in theaters that believers can watch or should consider. We're cheering with Gail from Worcester. She's saying, bravo to the chosen. Yeah, It's done great in theaters. It's something you definitely want to support. You've mentioned the chosen, Black Panther, also told us to be careful with Strange World, um, if, especially if you're going with children. What other movies can we consider this holiday? Well, the, a lot of them are like the PG-13, you know, sort of family-friendly or at least young adult-friendly uh, films. One of them that I expect will be a hit of mm-hmm. some kind is called Devotion. It's an action film based on a true story, apparently, about some Navy fighter pilots, the U.S. pilots during the Korean War, stars uh, at least one guy from Top Gun Maverick. And it sounds like a movie mm-hmm. that's very much like Top Gun in oh. terms of uh, you know the action and the story and things like that. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think... It, a lot of families or young young boys especially might enjoy that and enjoy the true story as well. Oh, yeah. The the movie I'm most looking forward to seeing is called The Fablemans. Okay. It's the latest movie from Steven Spielberg who wrote and directed uh, basically a story about his own childhood and like portraying his family back in the uh, 40s or 50s whenever it was as he was growing up and getting interested in movies and that's it's already been re- really well reviewed and I'm looking forward to seeing that. Mm. What what are you specifically looking forward to? Like what themes are in the movie? Well, I think so. There's there's been a lot of uh, movies in the last few years with you know big name directors, or at least in the in the film world, big name directors who yeah. are telling stories about their upbringings and how they grew up and how they got interested in film. It's you know very personal stories. I would say the movie Belfast last year is a good example of that. Okay. Like a, a established filmmaker kind of recreating his childhood and lessons he learned, uh, because that's a really you know that leads to very personal stories. And I think. When when you see uh, young people, especially you know, for me and others who are interested in film and media, yeah, seeing them as kids with their families in the film and the the journey they went on to become storytellers and to get interested in that field, it can be really, be really inspiring. Oh, that's good. That one's already out, right? The Fablemans. It technically comes out tomorrow. A lot of these movies come out tomorrow, okay. like right before Thanksgiving, and then they'll last, hopefully, you know, the few weeks after Thanksgiving. But, um, yeah, it's it's always hard to tell. When a, when a movie comes out and then doesn't make a lot of money, it's mm-hmm. usually gone out of theaters in, like, two weeks. Oh, so, wow. initially, I think... I think if The Chosen, the season three premiere that came out this past weekend, if it hadn't made as much money this weekend as it did, yeah. it probably would be gone by like tonight. Thankfully, mm. it's it's in theaters for at least another week. And, uh, you know, the more people keep seeing it and then keep going back and bringing their friends, that's how we get, uh, you know, those movies in theaters longer. Oh, that's good to know. And we have a lot of fans of The Chosen. So we got to make sure mm-hmm. we show up and support because, like you said, they're taking notice. Thank you so, so much for your suggestions on movies. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Have a great Thanksgiving.